June is done and this has been my biggest ever month for dividend payments. My current portfolio stands at $66,215.44. It's an increase of 1.39% from last month and 72.9% increase from June 2023. That was $38,275. So very happy with the progress in a year. I had 16 dividend payments this month. As usual, I go through the quarterly ones first, followed by the regular payments. First up is Intel, ticker symbol INTC. The payment was for $2.13 from a total of 17 shares. This was paid on the 1st of June. Next payment is the 1st of September and the X dividend date cutoff is the 7th of August. And this have a hold rating with an average 12 month price target of $38.02, which is 23.68% upside. Next up is Enbridge, ticker symbol ENB. The payment was for $9.38 from 14 shares. This was paid on the 1st of June. Next payment is the 1st of September and the X cutoff is the 7th of August. Enbridge has a total return of 2.37% over the last 12 months. The S&P has dwarfed this with 27.64% return. The trailing 12 months compound annual growth rate is 3.07% with 27 years of consecutive increases. And let's see a lot of upside potential in the stock price at $40.40 in 12 months time, which is 15.43%. Next up is Visa, ticker symbol V. This is a recent purchase, so only includes 1.45 shares at uh, just over 75 cents. This was paid on the 3rd of June. The next payment is the 3rd of September and the X cutoff is the 16th of August. Visa has a solid return of 28.81% over the last 12 months. The trailing 12 months compound annual growth rate is 15.29% with 16 years of consecutive increases. And lists have Visa as a strong buy with lots of upside potential with a target of $315.42. That's 15.31% upside. Next up is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. The payment was for $29.75 from 25 shares. This was paid on the 4th of June. Next payment is the 5th of September and the X cutoff is the 26th of August. J&J &J hasn't performed well at all over the last 12 months with a minus 7.23% return. Dividend metrics are much better with a CAGR of 4.21% over the trailing 12 months and a payout ratio of only 30.39%. So the dividend is safe and it has 62 years of consecutive increases. And let's see J&J &J as a moderate buy with a price target of $175.77, which is still 19.42% upside. So a lot of potential there. Next up is 3M, ticker symbol MMM. The payment was for $7 from 10 shares. This was paid on the 12th of June. The next payment is the 12th of September and the X cutoff is the 19th of August. Dream has been up 7% over the last 12 months. After the dividend cut, metrics are awful and were not great before either. Once I'm in the green on 3M, I will be cashing out. Unless I have a 12 month price target of $111.60, which is still way below my average buy of $129. Next up is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. The payment was for $3 from four shares at $1.75 each. This was paid on the 13th of June. The next payment is the 12th of September and the X cutoff is the 15th of August. Microsoft continues to perform well, up 38.31% over the last 12 months. I wish I'd loaded up, just goes to show you cannot time the market. I did think it would dip again. Dividend metrics continue to be very consistent, averaging 10.25% over the past 12 months, three years and five years. Analysts still see Microsoft as a strong buy with a 12 month price target of $500, which is 11% upside. Next up is Pfizer, ticker symbol PFE. The payment was for $21 from 50 shares. This was paid on the 14th of June. The next payment is the 3rd of September and the X cutoff is the 2nd of August. Pfizer has not performed well at all, down 19.89% over the past 12 months. Dividend metrics have been fairly mediocre as well, only 2.45% over the trailing 12 months but it does have 14 years of consecutive increases. And let's see Pfizer as a moderate buy with a target of $33.50, which is still 19.69% upside. So again, quite a lot of potential to get back 
those gains that have been lost. Next up is Alphabet, ticker symbol G double O G. The payment was for 40 cents from two shares. This was paid on the 14th of June. The next payment is the 16th of September and the X cutoff is the 9th of September. Alphabet continues on its run, up 56% over the past 12 months. And I see Alphabet as a strong buy with a target of $198.46, which is 7.7% upside. Next up is the Vanguard S&P ETF, ticker symbol VUSA. The dividend payment was for $26.84 from 103.8 shares. This was paid on the 26th of June. The next payment is the 25th of September and the X cutoff is the 12th of September. Next up is the Vanguard FTSE All World High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol VHYL. The payment was for $82.27 from 102.8 shares. This was paid on the 26th of June as well. The next dividend payment is again on the 25th of September and the XCOF is the 12th of September. Next up is T Row Price, ticker symbol TROW. The payment was for $13.42 from 12 shares. This was paid on the 29th of June. The next payment is the 27th of September and the XCOF is the 14th of June. T Row has performed very well over the past 12 months, up 14.69%. The trailing 12 months CAGA has only been 1.64%. This has continued the decline from three and five years. And let's see T row price as a moderate sell with a target of $114.82, which is 2.21% downside. Next up is Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. The payment was for $8.40 from 35 shares. This was paid on the 28th of June. The next payment is the 27th of September and the X cutoff is the 6th of September. Bank of America has performed very well, up 44.3% over the past 12 months. Fairly solid CAGR of 8.91% over the trailing 12 months. And let's have it as a moderate buy with a target of $40.43, which is a small gain of 2.67%. Next up is PepsiCo, ticker symbol PAP. Dividend was for $1.35 from one share. This was paid on the 28th of June. Next payment is the 30th of September and the X cutoff is the 6th of September. Pepsi has been stagnant, down 6.7% over the past 12 months. Fairly solid CAGR of 6.98% over the trailing 12 months, but it has 52 years of consecutive dividends and the payout ratio is 77.13%. A little on the high side, but if you look at the three years and five years, it's kind of in the 70% 70, 70 range anyway. And let's have it as a moderate buy with a target of $187.09, which is 11.8% upside. Next, I will fly through my monthly payers. First up, JP Morgan Equity Premium ETF, ticker symbol JEPI. The payment was for $16.57 for 46 shares. Next, Main Street Capital Corporation, ticker symbol MAIN. The payment was for $24.48 from 102 shares, plus a special dividend on top from Main Street again for $31.20 from 104 shares, because I bought an extra couple of shares during the month. And finally, Realty Income, ticker symbol O. The payment was for $27.30 from 104 shares. This takes the total of the month to $305.95. My biggest ever payment, this is 90% increase from June 2023 and nearly 1,000% from June 2022. Piling into my ETFs has made the biggest difference. If we look at the yearly progress, I'm now over $1,000, $1,088 to be exact. According to the dividend tracker, my future projected annual income is $2,353.88. So that wraps up this month. Next month, is a smaller one, only seven payments in total from Coca-Cola, Altria Group, Cisco, JP Morgan, plus the monthly payers. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.